Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I created a new JFrame for this product details part of this project. If you have not seen that video, just go to description and check out the link. In this video, I'm going to create a new JFrame form, form for delete product. Okay, so let's start. Let me close this application. Uh, let me create a new JFrame for this. Okay, JFrame. And here I'm just renaming it as delete product okay clicking on finish now our form has been generated now let me increase this to the 600 comma 450 okay now now first we are going to insert a zif so for that this time going to the properties and icon delete product okay delete product so you can see that let me close this. Let me remove the label name from here. Okay. Uh, let me move a little bit down. Now, we also need to insert icons. So, for that, I'm just inserting the icon, going to the properties, and here I'm again selecting delete product. Product. Okay. Let me search that product. You can see. Just clicking on close. Let me remove the label name from here. After that, placing it a little bit up. Okay. Now here we need a separator. Okay, before the separator, we also need to move this little bit left. Okay. Let me move it a little bit up. Okay. Now we need a separator here. So for that, we are moving to the swing menu here, and just inserting a separator, increasing the size to 580. Okay. Now here we need a level for the product ID. We also need to take the product ID to search that details that exist in our database or not. Or you can say we are deleting the correct product ID or product details. Okay. And after that we need a text field. So for that we are placing a text field. And we also need a button here. So I am just placing a button. Let me increase the size of this. And just making it as one thirding let leave it let me read this text remove this after that we are going to create going to the property increasing the size of this to the bold body we are increasing the font size okay okay just close this and product uh, we are also increasing the size of this label 14 sorry 14 okay just close this we also need to increase the size of this button okay making it as bold 14 okay just close this now read this text search and going to the properties and here I'm just selecting search PNG okay let me close this now we need a separator here okay separate I'm just placing the separator here and increasing the size to 580 okay in the both okay now you can see this one is created now we need to display the details so for that one by one we are placing here level level 3 level 5 you can say we need four level third and the last level we are checking here is four okay now let me rename this. The first label is for product name. Product name. And the next label is for rate. Okay, rate. And the next label is for description. description. Okay. And the next label we are taking here activate. Okay. One by one, we are going to insert here a text field for this. Okay. Text field 2, text field 3, text field 4, text field 5. Okay. Let me increase the sizes to, we are making it as 250. Increase the size of this. Increasing the size of this increasing the size of this okay let me increase the size is to bold 14 
okay making it as bold 14 okay just close this one by one we are going to remove the text from this okay let me read this text one by one read this text read this text okay now we are also increasing the size of this okay level size going to the properties making it as bold 14 okay just close this now again we need a separator so just going, going to the swing menu and here just place the separator increasing the size is to 580 okay now we need here three buttons buttons okay one by one second and the last button is okay let me read this delete delete let me read text reset okay and the last one is for the closed let me click on this close okay let me going to the properties going to the okay the last one i did not select it going to the properties and making it as bold 14 okay let me close this and one by one we are going to insert icon for this so first we are going to select delete icon okay okay you can see delete png here and for the reset we also already know that there is a reset icon present reset okay after that the last button is for close so for that we have the close j frame j frame button uh, png image sorry okay let me remove little bit right here okay now now we have to insert image in the background so for that set layout absolute layout okay are we inserting a level here going to the properties and inserting an icon for this all page images just close this and placing it perfectly on this form and removing the name you can see removed and save okay now our form has front end has been completed now we have to write the code for the back end so first we are going to write the codes for this close just go to the event action action performed okay and just here you just need to write set visible and just setting false save it and for the re reset you also need to move event action action performed and here i just need to write set visible false and the new visible is same page new delete uh, the delete product this one is set visible okay set true okay now okay i guess i did not remove the min max and close button from this so we need to right click on the form going to the properties and here just click here undecoded okay after that we also need to set the locations for that i'm just setting here location is 380 and 160 clicking on ok just close this and just resize it okay now save this now now we have to write the code for the search so search event action action performed uh, before searching first we are going to import project package and sql okay import java.sql sorry okay and after that we are going to import project package and connection provider class after that we need to search so for that we are writing in the action j button action one action okay string p id we are taking j text field we are taking the field one okay dot get text here yeah. We are taking the ID. After that, we have to write try catch. 
okay exception okay now we have to create connection connection con equals to connection connection provider uh, sorry connection provider class dot get connection after the statement statement st equals to con dot create a statement and after that result set okay let me move a little bit up result set rs rs equals to st dot execute query here select select star from product where p id equals to here i'm just writing p id okay now by searching that we also need to display that data in the particular field so for that rs.next if exists if that id exists then we have to display else we have to display a message that error message option dot show message here and just null here and in the message box we are showing product id product id uh, does not okay does not exist okay now let me run if condition here if j text field to dot shit here i'm just setting the text for that field rs dot uh, get string okay i'm just writing here the i guess uh, i have to write two because first one is for the product id the same way we are displaying all and here just changing three four and the last is five after that in the same way three four and the five after that we also need to disable the field number one set set that's why we are writing set editable false false okay now now after that we have to write the codes to delete okay so for that we are moving to the event action action performed and we also need to ask for the confirmation that they are really want to delete so for that we are setting if uh, so before they take, taking first we are taking a variable string p id we are taking j text field one dot get text here and after that int a equals to j option dot pan dot show confirmation you can see confirmation dialog and here just setting null first and after that we are writing a message do you want to delete okay just writing the message after that there is a select we are writing select select and after that we also need to give the options so for that g option pan dot yes or no option okay you can see this one okay after that if the user selected yes then it means the value of a is equal equals to the zero in that case so in the if condition we are going to write the code so try catch we are writing in it try catch and here i'm just writing exception okay and in try block we have to create the connection connection con equals to connection okay connection provider dot get con okay after that statement st equals to con dot create statement okay after that st dot execute update update here 
and here we have to write the query select delete sorry delete from product okay where p i i d equals to p p i d okay after that set visible false here and the new visible we are setting the same page delete product dot sorry dot set visible so i'm just setting true okay and there's a maybe chance there's any error occur in that case i'm just showing the message dot show message here message dialog null okay null. now we also need to connect this with the home page so for that i'm just moving here and going to the event action action performed and here just writing the new and delete uh, you can see the product dot set visible i am just writing tr true okay now let me save this uh it's showing it automatically resolved okay now run this file okay let me click on this button you can see it one by one it's loading and just clicking on delete product now i just want to search for the product three okay clicking on search you can see all the details of product number three has displayed here and uh, let me click on delete and when we click on yes it will delete it okay you can see successfully deleted let me search that product id again product id does not exist you see the message here and there's a reset button just click on this it will re re remove all the details from the field okay and there's a close button just close for this form and so this is all about the delete product of our, my billing management system project in the next video i am going to show you the main part of this project is billing part i will explain you a step by step i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you